Hi, my name is Libby. And I'm Jacob. And we are rehabilitation technicians here at Downtown's Healthcare. And today we're going to go over the TENS unit. So the TENS unit is a portable electrical stimulation or E-STEM unit. What E-STEM does is it fatigues muscles that are spasming, brings endorphins into the area, and acts as acute pain relief. So when you get your TENS unit, kind of looks like a briefcase, you open it up. Um, one of the first things you'll see is just an instruction manual. Um, you'll get your own set of E-STEM pads or TENS unit pads. Um, they kind of look like these pads right here. They're just a tad bit smaller. You're also going to get your own set of wires and then your actual TENS unit. Um, how this TENS unit works is you open up the flap right here and you'll see two dials. And you'll just turn the dial and then you'll turn the dial. You'll hear two clicks and you'll also see two yellow lights come on meaning both of these ports are on and ready to go. To control the intensity coming out of each port, you have both dials here. Ideally, you want the dials about the same. I'm going to turn that off for now. So when it comes to E-STEM, uh, the pad placement, we have actually um, the pads here from our E-STEM units um, on our rehab floor. And Jacob here is going to explain where to put the E-STEM pads. Absolutely. Uh, before I explain where you should put them, I want to quickly go over the three places you should never put them. Um, E-STEM can be used pretty much anywhere on the body where you're experiencing pain, except for these three places. Never put them across your temples or across your brain. Never put them on the front of your neck, which would be across your carotid artery. And never put them on the left side of your chest, which would be close to your heart. Other than that, pretty much anywhere is fair game. Um, you want to stick to meatier, more muscular parts of your body because that's where the electric current will be able to flow the best. Um, on Libby today, I'm going to uh, show the common example of knee pain and where we would recommend you to place the pads um, should you be experiencing some pain in your knees. So when placing uh, E-STEM pads, you'll notice that you have two pads of two different colors. So you'll have two black electrodes and two red electrodes. The important thing about the placement is that you'll make a square with the four, but you want the same colors to be diagonal from each other. So if you can see what I'm doing on Libby's leg right here, so I have a red electrode in the upper right portion of her leg, and then when I'm going to put the second red electrode in the lower left, so they're kind of kitty corner from each other. And then I'll do the same with the two black, so one in the upper left, and then the fourth and final in the lower right. And there you have it. This way the current will cross and center right across the kneecap and stimulate the surrounding musculature, which is going to provide her the most pain relief should she have some knee pain. You can also place the E-STEM pads on your low back. So when you're doing your low back, you want to stay away from the spine, but you want to hit the muscles on either side of the spine. So like Jacob was talking about, you'll have a red and a red diagonal from each other and a black and a black diagonal from each other. Another common place is on the back of your neck. You could also do shoulders, you can do forearms, you can do feet even. Um, yeah. Really anywhere you're experiencing pain. Um, you can do e-stem as much as you want anytime you're feeling really any pain. Um, on the e-stem unit itself, if you open up the slidey part here, there's a timer on the bottom of it and it's currently set on 30 minutes. You could also set it to 60 minutes. There you have it. That pretty much sums up our TENS unit, the electrical stimulation machine.